Dana Taylor here with Dainty Acres Italian Greyhounds. We've reached our goals. We now have a new set of goals for the next dog show. We are nailing the basics, so that is really good news and worth celebrating. Last month, we worked on our moonwalk, our come, stay, and our stacks specifically. They helped us nail the part one, two, and three of the confirmation show ring experience. What we need to work on now are our transitions between stacks and down and back. So three and four of the confirmation show ring are going to be what we were going to be working on. Just to refresh our memory, the parts of the confirmation show ring are one, the ring entry, two, the go around, three, the stacks, four, the down and back, and five, the final. And I can always go back and review my basics on my video playlist. My goal this month is the transition before the table stack and the transition between the table stack and the down and back. The stack and the down and back, um, the judge has his complete attention on me. So my goal is to maximize the opportunity to be remembered and as the best dog in the ring. Here is a clip from the video series. I, I need to be efficient with my transitions and nail the stacks and the down and back. So I have thought out all of the parts I want to work on this month. So one, the free stack to the floor lift off transition. Two, the table landing, um, which is the table stack. Uh, three, the table to the floor landing transition. And four, the floor landing, which is the down to, to the down and back. Let's start with the first, the free stack to the lift off. Uh, this is the space of time between the free stack on the floor and the table stack on the table. Now the judge isn't looking at me yet, he's looking at another dog or getting himself in position for viewing. What I want is a relaxed dog as my dog anticipates my lift off the, to the, off of the floor. So I need to make it comfortable for him. Then I need to travel to the examination table um, that the judge is using. So second is the table stack. I need the table stack placement of the feet to be efficient so that I can hand stack with as little uh, movement and time as possible. When I drop the front end, I want the toes to touch down and I'm going to start my clock there. So my goal is a nine second table stack. I want to be respectful of the judge's time. So I'm going to place my dog's front feet in the correct stack position from the aerial position and then manually set the feet that need correction. And my dog needs to stay frozen in that hand stack until the judge motions he's done. Okay, third, the judge has a short walk back to his viewing spot. For me, um, I have a little more work to do. So this is the uh, down and back. I have to pick up my dog off the table. I have to travel to the dot. I have to reset my lead, which is around my neck. And I have to set it to the right length um, for the down and back. And I need to set my dog up on the ground with his legs straight and, and that he's pointing forward. That takes me longer than it takes the judge. So don't like making him wait, the judge wait. So I need to be relaxed and brilliant. Fourth and, and lastly in this uh, set of goals is the floor landing to the down and back. So from the, from the air, I'm going to airily set him down. I will put him down straight so that his feet set square and pointing in the right direction in a good view of the judge. I want him to show his best and my job is to shake the lead. Uh, the lead is a transition co trigger command so um, that'll give him command to move forward. Well, I hope these have been helpful and we're going to get busy in the training studio.